Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cyrus and today's video is going to be a get ready with me and a story time video. So I'm just going to put my headband in and yes, so the story that I am going to be telling you today happened many years ago. I was younger then, I had a different mindset then. I was just a different person to who I am today. So a lot of the decisions I made back then wouldn't be the decisions I would make today, if that makes sense, you know? I'm going to try my best to do my makeup and tell you the story at the same time. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but just bear with me, guys. <laughs> I'm going to start off by priming my face. The primer that I'm using is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Prime Set and Refresh. All the products that I use today, I will link down in the description, guys. I'm going to start off, guys, first by concealing, like, my blemishes and things. So, yeah, I started dating this guy several years ago. Um, I think I met him online. No, I did meet him online. Um, and we quickly started dating. Back then, I was not the person I am today. Um, and I actually didn't tell him that I'm transgender. I actually just kept that to myself, which is a controversial issue. It's not something I would do today. Today, I, if I was to meet someone, I would tell them because I would want to start off the relationship with, like, kind of everything out in the open, if that makes sense. Um... But I didn't tell him. Next, guys, I'm going to be applying foundation. And I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. Um, and I think the reason that I didn't tell him I was transgender, I think there were a couple of reasons for it. So the first reason I didn't tell him is because I used to think to myself that telling someone you're transgender straight away, it kind of rules you out straight away from someone wanting to date you. I wanted him to judge me on who I am as a person, rather than hearing the word transgender and just being like, I'm not dating you, you know? So that's the first reason I didn't tell him. The second reason is, back then I did struggle with my, with being transgender. I, I don't think I'd fully come to terms with it myself. And at that point in my life, I'd have changed it in a heartbeat because I just really didn't want to be transgender. So the second reason for not telling him is I just really didn't want to say the words out loud because I was almost in denial myself. Even though I was like out as transgender, socially and to my family and to everyone, I just didn't like admitting like I'm transgender, you know? I didn't like saying the words. I wanted to almost pretend to myself that I wasn't transgender and that I was just in a normal relationship, if that makes sense. I mean, that's another example of how today I'm so different to how I was then, because now I'm so proud to be transgender. I'm so proud to be part of the LGBTQ plus community. Honestly, like, I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm not saying it's easy, because it's not easy. It's a very hard life, you know? You get a lot of crap from people, but I still wouldn't change it. So there, foundation is done, guys. So I didn't tell him I was transgender. However, he found out it was told by somebody else, which changed everything. Next, guys, I'm going to conceal my under eyes. The concealer that I'm using is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. Now I'm going to talk about when I was outed to my ex when somebody told him I was transgender. I used to go to this gay club quite a lot back then. A lot of people in this gay club knew me because I used to go so often. So I don't know how I thought I was going to get away with taking my ex to this gay club without anyone telling him about me being transgender. I don't know how I thought we were going to pull that off, but I took him anyway. <laughs> um, and of course, someone told him. So we were there all night. Basically, we were there for ages in this gay club. And it's not as though we were, like, stuck to my ex's side. I were off dancing while he was sat down um, having a drink or whatever. So I honestly don't know how I thought that he wasn't going to find out, but he did. 
Um, but he found out right at the end of the night. And what happened was we left the club and we were literally going back to his house. And we were still talking to this like small group of people. I'm going to start contouring using a cream contour. Um, but I'm also going to go over it with powdered contour. Sometimes I do that. I didn't know is the girl wanted my ex to go home with her and ditch me. But he wouldn't do it. So to try and persuade him, she told him I was transgender. Now bear in mind, I'm stood right there, right? And I don't know how I didn't notice. I had my back to them at one point for like a split second. And in that time she told him, because when I turned back, my ex were looking at me like really strange. And I just knew that she told him with the way he was looking at me. He was looking at me in like, how can I explain it? The way he was looking at me just made me feel really exposed, like he could see straight through me. I just knew in his eyes, he knew. He, it's almost like he was trying to see if what she was saying was true just by like looking at me, you know? I'm thinking, I know that he knows. I know that she's told him. And I kind of went on the defensive. I just like stormed off into the middle of the street. He followed me to the shop. And it was like, look, we're going home, like back to his house. Um, it's like I wanna, I, I wanna talk to you. We need to go home, like right now. I just didn't want to have that conversation with him, and especially now it had been made ten times worse because I hadn't even told him. Somebody else, had, somebody else had told him. So what I'm gonna do next, guys, is set my face. The powder I'm gonna be using is by number seven, guys. Um, so we get back to his house and. I sit down on the settee and he like crouches in front of me, um, like kneels like right in front of me and he's just asking me like, is there anything you, is there something you want to tell me? And I of course was like, no, what you're talking about? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I just handled it terribly. Um, and he kept asking me and asking me if there's something I wanted to tell him. And I forgot exactly how it came out, but I eventually just admitted that, yeah, I'm transgender, you know? Um, and he said he was fine with it, you know? But I didn't believe him because we both had a drink and I thought it was just... I thought that when he woke up in the morning, you know, sober, it was going to change his mind and then it would bother him. I thought it was just the drink talking that he didn't care. And I told him this, but he said, look, I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to give you a kiss and, and tell you exactly what I'm saying now. I, I really don't mind that you're transgender. Um, and he did, you know, he did. He woke up in the morning, gave me a kiss and he told me that, that what he said last night he meant. So basically, I was outed by this random girl who wanted my ex to go home with her and ditch me. And when he wouldn't, she used, you know, the fact that I'm transgender to try and sway him. But it didn't work. Because now I'm going to get to the part where he used to lie about being in a relationship with me. It's not that he just didn't tell his family and friends. He actually used to lie and say that he wasn't with me. Next, guys, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild contouring palette. Several times, his friends would say to me, you're not together, you know, you and this guy, you know, my ex, we're not together. So that just made me wonder what he was saying when I wasn't there, you know, what he was telling them. And my ex never kind of put them straight on it. Like, when it was just me and my ex, it was like, oh, you know, I love you and all this, and, you know, walking hand in hand and literally just being a couple. A very dysfunctional couple, but still. Um, and then when his friends had come over, one friend in particular, he always used to be like, you're not together, like... And my fr my ex would never set me straight, you know? Um, and then once his mother came over and she saw from outside that I was in his bedroom and she came in and, and she was like, really gave me a hard time about it. Like, be like, you shouldn't be in his room and... You know, you shouldn't, what are you doing in my son's room? And basically saying that I shouldn't be in there. And I found out that he'd actually told his mum that I was dating the flatmate and not him. He'd actually lied. When someone's in a relationship with you and they're literally telling their friends and family and everyone that they're not with you, that you're with the flatmate, 
it makes you feel like absolute rubbish. Honestly, it, I mean, my self-esteem was low anyway, and it really just made me feel even worse. Next, guys, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris La Blush. It's like a, um, it's like a peach coloured blush. I'm not going to put it on the apple of my cheeks. Um, I've actually started putting it more, my blush more high up. Um, because it kind of just lifts the face, I find. Um, I mean, if you want to, like, round out your face more, put it on the apples in, like, circular motions. Um, but if you want to, like, kind of lift the face, put it more high up and, you know, don't do circular motions, just do it like this. I'm going to be using eyeshadows from an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette, Hone. So guys, I'm going to start off by using this brown hair. So guys, getting into the part of the story where I found out that I was being cheated on. I used to spend whole nights at a time at his place. You know, I were there quite a lot. But one day I was going home for the weekend and I was due to be back on Monday. But I decided to go up a day early and surprise him. I got all dressed up, put a new dress on, and I went up without telling him. I went into the living room and there was my ex, my ex's flatmate, my ex's friend, and there was this girl that was there. Now, I just assumed that this girl was with his friend, you know, that they were together. So next, guys, I'm going to be applying this colour. Um, this colour is actually called Hive. Um, the one before, the first colour that I applied, is called Keeper. So yeah, I just assumed that this girl was the girlfriend of the friend until I started talking to the group at, at large. I think my ex was actually out of the room at this point. And as the conversation was, like, going, I started to realise... Who's this girl? She's not with the friend. She's not with the flatmate. And I was really confused. And I actually asked, I just asked her out, right? I'm like, like, who are you here with? You know, like, what's, what's the reason for you being here? Like, are you with someone? And she says, yeah, I'm with, let's think of a name for my ex. I can't call him by his actual name. Let's call him Daniel. She's like, yeah, I'm with Daniel. I just couldn't believe it. Like, I thought this was going somewhere. I mean, I, I mean, I was stupid, don't get me wrong. I mean, after everything I've just told you, I should have never been with him. I should have left a long time ago, so I don't know how I thought that this was going somewhere. And to be honest with you, this was a blessing in disguise, the fact that I found out it was cheating, because I actually left him that night. I confronted him, literally in front of everyone. I'm going to deepen the crease up a little bit more with this colour. It's called Drip. I was upset, by the way, and you know what he had the cheek to say? I don't know why you're acting like it's the end of the world. That's literally what he said to me. The girl left the room and started crying in his bedroom. Bearing in mind, this girl knew Daniel for a couple of days at the most. She literally met him a couple of days before this happened, if that. Whereas I'd been with him a lot, lot longer than that. You know, he told me he loved me. I met his daughter. So yeah, she is off crying in the bedroom. I'm in the living room, really like, how can you do this to me? And I think at one point I said something like, how can you cheat, cheat on me um, with her? And she heard me when she came storming into the room. And she had a beer in her hand and she threw this beer at me, which splashed up my new dress. And I'll end the story there. I think, guys, I'm going to use this colour for my lid. It's called... Honey. So as you can see guys, I've just packed that colour onto my lids um, and slightly blended it up. The highlight I'm going to be using guys is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. So I'm just sharpening my lip liner guys. I'm using the number 7 sharpener. It's absolutely amazing as you can see. Um, and the lip liner I'm using is by NYX. I've slightly overlined my cupid's bow and the bottom of my lip here 
um, and then I've just kind of dragged that colour into the natural lines of my lips. Do not want to overline the outsides of your lips because it just, it won't look right. And next guys, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick by NYX. And then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to be using a clear lip plumping polish again by NYX. This actually looks quite lovely so far. I'm just going to be adding a bit of black eyeliner to my waterline. This one's by... Oh. Oh, Makeup Academy. So as you can see, guys, I've just added the black eyeliner to my waterline. Last but not least, guys, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes, putting a tiny bit of mascara on. I don't use much. And then I'm going to be putting some false eyelashes on. So I will be back when I have done that. Hey guys, this is the final look. Um, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I like it, I do. And the message that I want people to take away from this video, whether you're transgender or not, don't ever let somebody keep you a secret because nobody deserves that. It hurts people's feelings, it damages self-esteem, it makes the person think that there's something wrong with them. That just reinforced my own thoughts that being transgender is a negative thing. Don't ever be with someone like that, you know, someone that's going to love you in private, but then publicly, you know, your dating flatmate <laughs> is not good. <laughs> I'm laughing because of how ridiculous it sounds now. Never mind, you live and learn, don't you? But yeah, um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope that you took something positive away from it. I hope that you enjoyed the makeup. I, it was very difficult for me to tell a full story and do my makeup at the same time because normally I need full concentration when I'm doing my makeup. I like it. I think it looks okay. Um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you like this makeup look. And also, let me know in the comments if you've been kept a secret, tell me your story. I like, I'd like to hear about it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And click that bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Also, please follow me on my socials. They are on screen now. Be safe, guys, and be kind. Bye.